Okay, we are going to take a look at question one. Notice they want us to solve the equation. Teacher, I can see base two. All right, there's a number four. I can definitely change it to a base two. So let me do that first. Okay, let me simplify the bracket term first since it's in base two. Okay, but teacher, I'm still stuck. Yes, whenever you are stuck, you are supposed to use substitution method. But take note, you only substitute the one with the smaller power. Eh? Teacher, there are two base terms with power 2x plus 2 and x. Which one is smaller? x, right? Okay, so I must make sure I change everything to make sure it looks like 2 to the power of x. Notice the idea is to make sure I rewrite everything with the one for the smaller power. I'm done successfully. The moment I'm done successfully, yes, I'm stuck. So I use substitution method. What do I mean by substitution method? The one for 2 to the power of x, I let it be equal to a. Okay, after that, you can actually solve for quadratic equation in terms of a, I found a. But remember, the original equation is not x. A is something I substituted myself. So let me rewrite. So 2 to the power x is equal to 0 0.25, but 0 0.25 is not useful. Let me write 1 quarter. Because 1 quarter can be written as 2 to the power of negative 2. Am I right? And this means that x will be equal to negative 2. This is one part. Next part. 2 to the power x is also equal to negative 2. Okay, remember, any positive number can never be a negative number when you subject to any indices. Okay, so we only have one answer for this particular part. Okay, so if we took, take a look at question 2, the question specifically say use u to substitute 3 to the power of x, so everything must be in base 3. But I only want 3 to the power of x, so remember to rearrange. Instead of having 3 to the power of 3x, I must have 3 to the power of x, bracket power 3. Then, so straight away, replace your 3 to the power of x by u. So remember, if you want to solve for cubic equation, this is a cubic equation, huh, mind you, I need to form a polynomial function. Let's form a polynomial. So when you press the calculator for cubic equation, you notice 3 is the only nice answer. So when I substitute inside, f bracket 3 will give us 0. What does this tell us? The factor must be equal to... Yes, thank you very much, Chia Yang. After that, please perform our long division. So after your long division, just make sure the remainder is zero. Then it means that our factorization should be correct. Using zero product rule, I can straight away write down, oh, u is equal to 3 or u square plus 3u plus 11 must be equal to zero. But the thing is, this is the only solution, means there's no solution on the right side. So some of you tell me, teacher, I can make use of discriminant. Yes, let's go ahead. Let's find the discriminant over here. Okay, so this one easy way to show me, oh, by using the discriminant, there's no solution. What's another method? Okay, remember, we have only solved for u, but I want to solve for x. u is equal to 3 to the power of x. This is equal to 3. Is it very obvious that x must be equal to 1? 